Hello everyone, welcome to Miss White and Science Revision. In this video we're going to look at how to draw covalent dot cross diagrams. These very often come up as a two mark question in exams. I'm going to show you how to do them for two atoms or for more than two atoms. So let's start with chlorine, complete the dot cross diagram for a chlorine molecule. So we draw our two chlorine atoms, a bit like a Venn diagram, and we need to figure out how many bonds they will make. So chlorine is in group seven, so it needs to gain one extra electron. So it's going to form one covalent bond. Now to do that, to show chlorine forming a covalent bond, we draw a dot and a cross. That's one shared pair of electrons in the center. And it's like both of those atoms kind of own those electrons. So you get your first mark for drawing those electrons. And now we need to make sure both of those atoms have a full outer shell. That means eight electrons. They both have the two in the middle and they need to have eight each. So we just add an extra six to each atom. Now both of those atoms have full outer shells. They have eight and that is what gives us our second mark. So the first mark in this question comes from doing the right number of bonds in the centre, the right number of shared pairs, and the second mark comes from making sure they have a full outer shell. Fluorine is very similar. So again, it's in group seven. So it has seven electrons in its outer shell. It wants to gain one more. Maybe pause the video and have a, see if you can work out what fluorine will do. Because fluorine needs to gain one electron, it's going to form one covalent bond. So we draw a single pair of electrons in the centre, a single dot cross pair. That counts as one bond. Then we need to make it up around the edges so that each atom has eight electrons in its outer shell. So we just fill those in, an extra six on each, because they both already have two electrons. They both kind of have the two that are in the middle, they're sharing them. And that gets us our second mark. So first mark for making sure we've got the right number of bonds in the centre and second mark for making sure each atom has a full outer shell. Let's try a little bit different one. This is oxygen. So oxygen is in group six, which means it's got six electrons in its outer shell. Now that means it needs to gain two electrons, whereas fluorine and chlorine needed to gain one, oxygen needs to gain two. So in the centre, we are going to show this by drawing two shared pairs of electrons. It forms two covalent bonds. In other words, a double bond. That is our first mark. If we just drew one pair in the centre, we wouldn't get the mark. We must make sure it's two because it needs to gain two electrons. And then just as before, we need to make sure both atoms have got full outer shell. So they've currently got four in the middle, each one. So now they just need an extra four to go around the outside. We don't want to draw any more than that. Remember, they can't have more than eight, including the ones in the middle. So we get our second mark for drawing four electrons on the outer shells of each atom. This is a double bond because there's two pairs in the center and you might see it drawn like this with an equal sign in between them. Nitrogen, again, slightly different because nitrogen is in group five. So it has five electrons in its outer shell. Pause the video and see if you can work this one out. OK, so nitrogen is in group five, which means it needs to gain three more electrons. So we need to draw three pairs in the centre. It forms three bonds. It actually forms a triple bond. So we get our first mark for drawing the three pairs in the centre. And now we need to make it up to eight on each atom. Well, they've both already got six in the centre, so each atom only needs two extras to make them up to eight. On these diagrams, make sure you're drawing the electrons in one atom as dots or circles and the ones in the other atom as crosses. That's what makes it a dot cross diagram. Now, we're getting a little bit tricky now. We're going to have a go at water. So water is H2O. So there's actually three atoms in this molecule. So this is making it a little bit trickier. But it works the same way as the other ones. We'll start with the one in the middle. Oxygen is in group six. So it has six electrons in its outer shell. It needs to gain two more. But instead of forming both bonds with one other oxygen atom, it's going to form one bond with each of two hydrogen atoms. So instead of doing a double bond, it's just going to do two single bonds. Now we need to make this one up to eight as well. 
but we're only going to need an extra four on the oxygen because it already has four in those two bonds and then we add another four around the outside. Now hydrogen, you might be tempted to make it up to eight. Remember that hydrogen's only got one electron and it's on the inner shell. Remember that that very inner shell can only hold two electrons. So if you're using hydrogen, remember that it only needs two electrons in its outer shell. Here are a few examples to have a go at. There's some that are just two atoms. There's some that are more than two. Use your periodic table if you're not sure what group they're in and have a go at these. Okay, here are the answers for these ones. So phosphorus is in group five, so it needs to gain three. So it has three bonds. Hydrogen only wants to gain one. Sulfur's in group six, needs to gain two. Carbon's in group four, it needs to gain four. Nitrogen's in group five, so it needs to gain three. And carbon's in group four, it needs to gain four. Thank you for watching, guys. Let me know if there's anything you want me to cover in the next video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.